Hello and welcome to Ilulissat, Greenland. And yes, if you're wondering, it is really, really cold. Negative 15 degrees Celsius to be exact. And today we are going dog sledding, which has been used for almost 5,000 years in Greenland for both transportation and hunting, especially during winter when sailing is not available and for transportation between cities where there's no roads. We also got equipped with a bit of more of a appropriate clothing, some big boots, some seal pants and jacket. Very, very warm, but also have like six layers on right now, so. Yeah, this is Mamarud, our guide. Is it is they like your family? Yeah, they're like my family. And they do most of the work. So <laughs> I just I just tell them where to go. So. These dogs were such incredible and impressive animals. The Greenlandic sled dog lives outside year-round and can endure extremely cold temperatures to which it will actually sometimes sleep buried under the snow. I mean, they're, they're just very cute and extremely strong. It takes about seven of them to pull the sled that we're riding on three people right now. In order to protect the breed, it's not allowed to leave the Arctic Circle. And to maintain the purity of the race, you're not allowed to bring other breeds of dogs inside the Arctic Circle. Who is this babe? Batman! <laughs> Overall, this was an incredible experience. To see these dogs up close, feeding them and trying such a unique and authentic way of transportation was truly remarkable. The bond between the musher and the dogs, created through years of teamwork and mutual reliance, was evident in the way they interacted and communicated. To think about the history of dog sledding and how it's been an integral part of life in Arctic regions for centuries is truly fascinating. From transportation to hunting, these dogs have been crucial companions to humans in some of the harshest environments on Earth. <laughs> 